I'm Miss Rhonda, and this is Make It Make Sense. Hey y'all, it's Miss Rhonda, and you're tuning in to Make It Make Sense. And today we have Sunny the Rapper. Hey. hey. <laughs> okay, so tell me where you're from. I am from Houston, Texas, but I was mainly raised in Most City. So, you know, what, most, what's city? most city. It's Texas too? Yeah. It's oh, most okay. it's like where it's like the suburban area, I guess you would probably uh, How long have you been rapping? I guess. Um, I've been rapping since I was a kid. I, well, I started from writing poetry and then me and my best friend started a rap group. <laughs> <laughs> and what what you, what you, what your rap group name was? Ooh, the very first one is so funny, it was called Playtime with Three Eyes. And then we was like, oh, people gonna they gonna they gonna talk shit about us. They gonna be like, playtime's over. Da, 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 da. It was like immediately we started thinking of all the ways they could go wrong. Is it go wrong? It, okay. So, we so um, with, with you being a female rapper, like, mm -hmm. how do you, what, what you feel about female rappers out there tonight? Um, I feel like the female rapper has really taken over. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. When I was growing up, we we didn't see as many. Yeah, you know, we saw Nicki, we saw, but we didn't see as many female rappers. You know, mm -hmm. it was always kind of like the same one for a long time. So <laughs> it was like now in this day and age, you're seeing the way social media and TikTok is. It's like so many different type of female artists. It's like not just one kind no more or one type of artist that can be successful. So I really think that like we have made a tremendous leap in the female rap game, and I'm fucking with all the females. Like okay. So, what I want to ask you, um, so do you think you have a Texas-like style or you got a versatile type style? Because like, like, I'm not rapper, but when I rap, it always comes out fucking bounce, no matter what. Right, definitely. I feel like you are definitely what your environment is, you know, so, like so Louisiana, you, 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 I feel like I'm definitely on some Texas shit. Only because of like my... Of course, word, word choice, my aggressiveness. I feel like female rappers from Texas, you know, like... I feel like the ones that we know of for for real, for real, like we have this aggressiveness about the way we rap and we got like this real P mentality. So do Texas <laughs> So do like Texas female rappers, do y'all get along? Do y'all like embrace each other? I feel like everyone I don't necessarily say get along because I ain't in the ins and outs of everybody like mm -hmm. personal relationship mm -hmm. when it comes to other female rappers. But I do see a lot of like um I wouldn't necessarily say like the up and coming ones. I feel like they're definitely embracing each other. Of course, you have you know like Megan. She's on a different type of caliber. I don't really um, know. I feel like when she was coming up, she was you know around them a lot more. But clearly now, she's in her own lane. You know. But you have like your you know your Kings and your Libras and your Big Jays and your Sallies. And I feel like they all come together. You know. And um, when I came out as a solo artist and I dropped my first um, freestyle, it was Cisco. Um, they all embraced me from there. That freestyle is what kind of got everyone's attention. So, you know, you had like your Mona Leo. Do it. Real ass bitch ain't shit about me scandalous. When I come and move aside like the ambulance. I'm the HBI C Beverly Classic bitch. But you know, that was my first time rapping. Like, I feel like I'm still building relationships with them. With different, with different. But they definitely know who I am. And I'm definitely making my mark. So, so what Texas rappers did you look up to when you was coming up? Cause like we got Louisiana rappers, but they, you know, we always got other other rappers, but it always started that rapper that's in your city. Which right. one you had? Um, I feel like I was a, I was a zero fan. I was a zero fan. Yeah. Um, uh, me personally, Mo City Don was like the shit when we was in high school. You know, so it was like. I mean, from the moment it really came out, I feel like everybody in the city, you just, they love that song. I listen to a lot of Zero. I feel what like. What are you going to take? <laughs> um, Scarface now, Mike Jones, um, the other man. Slim Thug. Not the other Slim Thug, but the, the one Lucky. that got into it with, um, with, with T.I. Um, oh, wait. T.I.? Yeah. What's his thing? He was at the, he was at the game the other day, right? I don't, I don't know his name. But, um, it was him. Let's skip. Is it? Lil Flip. 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 L
they did performances and stuff? Um, yeah, well, yeah, the very, the very first, like, two performances that I ever did, like, was, me and my friend started a rap group, so we was performing, um, around school and stuff like that, and <laughs> it was embarrassing, I think that, like, looking back on it, we was not as prepared as we probably thought, you know, we probably practiced, like, one or two times, so we, I've learned, a, you know, a lot from that, because, I was in a group and I got signed and I went through arts development and I went from working, you know, from practicing six to seven hours a day, realizing like, okay. So when you have, now that you have a bigger crowd, are you scared? Um, I actually get more scared for intimate crowds than bigger crowds. I've literally performed in front of 15,000 people before and I wasn't, oh, that's good. I wasn't nervous. But when I get into a small intimate situation, it's 20 of us. I'm looking at everybody. I can see the sweat dripping on the Feel me? Like I can see yeah. and feel so much more when it's an intimate situation. Oh, when it's thousands of people, it just feels like I'm just free. I just get this. I feel like I can, I, First of all, I am like a pretty face and I feel like people be trying to play me and they don't realize how like zero to a honey I can go. Yeah, but so that's I how think that, on there exactly. So yeah. I probably feel, but at the same time, I'm going to be too like, too laid back for the situation. So nothing, none of that can, like the shit that they be on there getting mad at each other about and going through it. I just was really thinking about this as we talking. It's, I think like Su Sukiana might be the only real rapper, right? Well, the rest of them like up and coming. So, oh, okay. you feel me? Like, Rody kind of made a name for herself. Yeah, I, 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 but Suki the only one, yeah. That's why she was like a guest. She just went on there for her best friend, she said. Oh, I, I, ooh, that's my, I'm just saying that's my goddaughter, boy. That's my goddaughter. Suki? Oh, exactly. I like Suki, that's my friend. But yeah, um, it's like, so, you a woman in the industry and stuff. Do you think that men try to take more advantage of the women that's in the industry? I think they just try to play on our time so like it's like a power control thing i feel like you know like, I, you? like they they go in different situations that i've been around just been in whether it was you know intense or or on some play stuff shit, like they treat women a little different than they do to do do then they would do a man mm -hmm. in the situation like they it's crazy how much they'll book up to a female but won't book up to a nigga they be bucking up to that i didn't have situations where niggas tried to show their ass because i was a female and they feel like they don't want you disrespecting them, or they don't want you, you know, talking to them a certain way, or they just feel like they can have that, that, that control when if the same nigga was in your face saying this you nigga, would, you would not be doing, doing this. this. <laughs> it's a sassy nigga apocalypse, you feel me? So this is just the era that we living in. Like niggas is some sassy ass niggas nowadays. Okay, so <laughs> like, your, you say like your vocal style is different. Like, I, I see you look cute, like you not, you not, too nasty, man. It's cute. Ah, no, I, I'm just saying. I can that. turn the switch on no, and off. But, but no, I'm just saying because like I like some of them, like some of the women rappers, like you can't really hear their lips because they just. Oh no, nah, I'm not yeah. like that. Um, I feel like it's a line for everybody. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. that's not me personally. My name. My name is. I like to get my bitches lit. I like my bitches to feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. I like them to have that get going out so like when you getting ready and you about to look your best and, and shit on the club i want you to put on certain motherfucking rapper yeah okay like that's the vibe that i give for my music so like the song what what should, what should i have the song out now thick thick that's the one we just heard a few minutes ago yeah, yeah well, that, the thick thighs stand patient yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 that was good so what how do you came up with it um, well, I really do got thick thighs and thin patience. Like, I really like patience was a virtue that I am forever what working you on. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got to hear about that. <laughs> October 11th. Oh, ain't no more no night, bitch. Hey! But, so, but, that's, but that's how we that's end. A, that is how we Because, like, if you cool with us, we cool with you. You know what I'm saying? Even my baby, you know how we hit him, too. It's, oh. it's uh, October 20th. What? That's crazy. Yeah. It's Libra yeah. but, game. But, like, with... Okay, so the people that you came up with, mm -hmm. are they still rapping? Um, well, no, not really. Um, two of them have became moms, because we had a whole group group change, girl. So we went from three rappers to two rappers and a singer. Mm -hmm. So the two rappers, they're both moms. With the singer, she's still singing. So you don't have kids? No. no, no, no. So how, how do you feel about, like, I think, okay, so... New York, New York rappers like Carly B, mm -hmm. you know, like, I really, really, really like her fucking style. Like, I really I love, love her. Too. But like I said, they got the other style, Atlanta-type women rappers, then they got the down south, like, like mm -hmm. where we at type rappers, then they got the Florida-type right rappers, like, Katrina Mill-type mm -hmm. rappers. Which ones do you, do you, do you feel like you, you 
fit in the most with like? Uh, to be honest, I really feel like I personally fit in nowhere because of my my broadness when it comes to like my style of music and the things that I be wanting to rap and do about. It's just so broad. I feel like I'm not really in a box. But at the same time, I will say probably if I had to make a choice, we would go with Atlanta. Like I'll go with yeah. Atlanta. Only because we, I don't know, we have like a similar style of like the nightlife and getting out and shit we talk about kind of, I feel like it's kind of more of a versus like in New York, they be having like whole different words and everything that they use that we really don't understand so down south. You feel me? Like, feel me? Like, I think, I think that's we, more we I think women are more harder. Oh, they are, but they're aggressive. As yeah, well. that's what I'm saying. Harder, like yeah. Hard. Yeah, hard, like yeah, they're aggressive. Mm -hmm. okay. So, what's your, what's your next thing? Like, do you do anything other than like the rap? Do you do like the music? Do you know how to do like the keyboard or the guitar or stuff like that? No, I want to like, expand though. I want to know how to play the drums though. That's like what I've always been the most attracted to growing up. Like, I played around a little bit a lot. Like, even the Congo. Like, I even started learning how to play that a while ago. But um, me personally, I would definitely go towards the drums. That's something that I. Would. But you know, I was just thinking about okay, because Johnny Blake, she used like um. She's seven inch. She plays seven yeah, instruments. Yeah, she 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 do like the instruments and stuff. But then I think the lady Erica Banks, she from here. Like Texas really got a lot of women. Mm -hmm. and I, I never knew that until I until I moved t to Texas. Mm -hmm. I never knew they had so many um celebrities like that like ladies that really they're made. Mm -hmm. So you you gonna be next up? Period. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nah, definitely. I, I'm I'm super excited. This year has been already starting off. I started off with a really super dope opportunity that I was grateful to be a part of. Uh, and my song is starting to get spin more on the radio. It's getting ready to be, you know. Added. So you have any big events coming up? Do you have any events that you? So my um yes, I have a uh, South by Southwest. I'm super super excited. What is it? So it's a um a function. I mean a function like a festival that they do out there in Austin. Oh, where all Austin. different type of music, but each week they kind of cater to, to so you have like a hip hop week, mm -hmm. they do like a country week, so um, usually the black week is what we call it, this is the hip hop week, so it's no, probably I'm like, I'm getting for the damn rodeo. I know, so it's like probably like the 11th through the 16th, 17th, that's mm -hmm. like our week, so my show is March 13th, it's me and Splurge, um, it's a Houston event presented by Bias Breezy, it's going to be a really dope, dope event, it's March 13th, um, March 13th, yes, what's your video? Make sure you keep it. We gonna come see you. We gonna come see you. The bottom. Yeah, you gotta come see me. No, yeah, I'm still saying we come see you. You gotta come see me. It's from twelve to five. I got you. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. Like, right? I and mean, you can still go do some other stuff too. I got some other shows too, but that's the most important one I want to tell y'all about. So, how your mama feel about you being a woman rapper? Um, my mama is definitely my biggest, <laughs> biggest supporter, biggest fan. Mm -hmm. She know all my words to every song, no matter how vulgar it is. My mama comes from a church background. You know, she was raised in the church. She. She a valley girl from LA, so she's super, di you know, her raising was just different than mine. But the moment that she saw what I was doing and, she, and I took it serious and I wanted to do this was the moment that she was, all right, all right, we gonna do it. Whatever you do, you gonna do, you gonna be the best daddy. So, so at, at school, did you used to like rap or stuff for, for, for um, people at school? Um, not for the people at school, but for my friends, like after school, we would have, I was shy. So I wasn't doing none of that up in class and nothing like that. It took me a while, a while to get out of my shot. You look like you were popular. I, nice. I am. I, I was that girl who knew everyone knew, but I didn't really like hung with. I was hard hung with you my little Libra. people. You are Libra. Yeah, you a Yeah, like I always yeah, had that. I, I always had that vibe. Everybody knew who yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, like, bitch, get off this. But yeah, I stuck to my three to four friends that I had. Yeah. Like I really did venture out of that. I wish I would have, but I really did. So, <laughs> so what do you do when you're not ranking? Ooh, um, that's a hard one because my my whole life is centered around music. But I definitely do. I'm a big fashion head as well. So I'm constantly like thinking of like renting like new looks. Me and my um seamstress, we, I'm always just constantly like. So somebody be making clothes. Yes, that's, that's good yes, too. Yes, that's, I have someone who um, makes all my mostly all of my anything like that I'm recording myself in. I try and to custom. Huh? I, and you thought about it, see, that's good though. Cause yeah. like, you know, so a lot of people wear other people brands and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was fashion over ambassador. I, I did, you know, stuff for um, finesse. She had different, different brand investors. But I think that when you really branding who you are as an artist, like it's important to constantly wear 
what you feel comfortable and what yeah. represents you when you performing, doing a video, anything like that. Like I want that to fully represent me, not nobody else's friend. So that's what made me really so, start customizing my stuff. What What would you tell a a, a young a young girl that they like? I want to be a rapper. What, what you should tell them? Uh, are you sure? No. <laughs> Uh, I feel like being a female, being any type of artist and working for yourself mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur because that's what you're going to end up becoming. Mm -hmm. This is a business. But one, if you feel like you're talented and you feel like that's enough, this ain't the business for you because it ain't about talent. And it took me a while to understand that and it took me a while to learn that talent is absolutely 10% of you making it as an artist. Your grind, your charisma. How people um, relate you to know, you. You know, no, I have never, ever, ever, ever heard nobody say that. But that's when you said it, then yeah. You know? Yeah, it's about that. A lot that. of people have talent. A lot of people have yeah, talent, and it ain't about that. It's mm -hmm. unfortunately it don't matter. Yeah. We can go pick out talented it's people because it, <laughs> it, it, it's like a package. It's it has like to be a package, and yeah, that is what has to be understood. Mm -hmm. And if you can understand that, if you can navigate through that, and you can, you know, figure out how to multiply yourself into making money and really running yourself as a business then do it but if like i said you feel like you're just gonna be a talented bitch and that's enough to ride it ain't it okay. so do your research if you want to be around do your research so um as far as your videos and all the how what, okay like this video that that you that the song that you just did how would you vision the video that you're doing like to which song, song? The song with the thick thighs and oh, I already did the video for that. Oh, oh what, what, what was it? Yeah. Did you come up with it? Well, yeah, I actually we actually came up with a whole, well, me, um, my team. I have uh, my role manager, who's my girlfriend Breezy, and then my head manager OP, and then my business rep Imani. So we tend to you know bounce off of each other, or me and my role manager Imani sometimes. So it just depends. But with that particular video, we had a whole plan out, and nothing happened the way we thought was gonna happen because. It rained really bad that day. We was outside. The cars that we was using didn't show. It was just the most. But everything happened for a reason because it ended up turning out super great to the point where it was really one of um, the videos that went up the most on my YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. yes, like it really like YouTube caught a hold to it. They pushed it in and it was just like it just started going up and viral from, on YouTube. And then. It was like so funny because I was like, little do people know we had hell doing this video. It rained so bad that we were stuck under the basketball court. So we ended up doing it on the basketball court under the pavilion because we really couldn't go nowhere else. Because it was raining. Because it was raining. But I had all the girls. We had signs. They was on the fence. The train came and gave us a whole different scene. It was like everything just started kind of coming. Come we just had to roll with it. So <laughs> what, what, um, like, have you seen an artist that you really want to meet? And you finally seen them, and you met your artist yet? I actually did just meet my artist. I met Drake. I oh, met okay. Drake like about a month ago, and he, he was in Texas. Where it was, was it? here in Houston. Oh, in Houston. Yeah, you know he didn't move here, so hopefully we neighbors. Come on, yeah. trying to be at the barbecue. But um, <laughs> I did. I got. I was with Johnny. I got to meet him, and um, he's my favorite artist on the mail end. So it was really dope to see him. He's very humble, very sweet. Very normal, you know what I mean? And I treated him as such. So it was just a really dope, surreal moment to have. <laughs> but you seem like you're going to be fitting. You feel like you're a good person. I you know, know I'm a good person. Yeah, I definitely know I'm a good but, person. But, okay. but you know, like they said, like when you get in that industry, it, they, they try to make you do different things. Or, you know, when you get in that industry, it, mm -hmm. you understand change or... I think like, that situation definitely make you change because I, nef I definitely know that I'm a different person from when I first really got in the industry. What we'll make, we'll make you different? What? We'll because people aren't as genuine as you are. And I started lending my hand and I started really putting myself out there and really, you know, showing up for people. And I started realizing, like, you're not going to get that same in return. Mm -hmm. And then I started seeing a lot of people who smile in your face. And then you'd be hearing all these weird ass situations where they so low key talking so shit it about you. Mean, you. It made you. <laughs> It, it just made me more reserved. It made me not be able to give everybody the full, happy, jippery, smiley, sunny every time I walk into the room. Now I have to be actually mindfully aware that these people, everybody around here don't want to see you win. And the more you win is the more enemies you start to make. And the more I started winning, the more 
things I started hearing behind my back and things that I started hearing from other people. And I'm like, damn, like, I ain't even did nothing. Sad. Like, I'm literally out here in my own, I don't have no cosigns. I ain't got nobody dick riding me and walking me into these motherfucking rooms. It's me and my team, you feel me? Like, I don't have another day. I'm literally showing the real, true, independent route with no major budget, no none of that. I'm showing these, showing other artists in the city, like I'm, I, you can do this. I'm the blueprint for this. Mm -hmm. But I think because I came along and did that and did meet these other people, it started making it weird. You know what I'm saying? Started making weird animosity with me and other people. And I'm like, well, shit. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, you want me to win or not? Clearly, okay, you don't. So I started realizing that, and then I just started being a little bit more sacred, you know what I'm saying, with me and my time and just giving people that extra, because I'm the type of person where I always give people that extra second, mm -hmm. that extra moment, that extra conversation, because you never know, you, this might be your only time talking to me or seeing me, yeah. you know, I don't know, that's how I think about things, I want whatever your memory and me to be the best how, memory. How I feel when people <laughs> notice you? Oh man, it's been great now, because at first I was like, oh, can't go nowhere looking crazy no more. But then I was like, bitch, this is the life you wanted. This is what you asked for. So I ain't gonna lie, I started I remember one time I went to the galleria. Oh god, I went to the galleria and I was looking crazy and I went to I was in Urban Outfitters, I went up to the register and the girl recognized who I was. And I was like so they really do they they if they think that you get up every day and they put on makeup, do your hair, do Yeah. I just don't do all that. That's nice though. It was just a little bit. I get dressed up, whatever man, I walk through the I don't care what I got on, I don't care how my head look. Like but that was my last time doing that. Yeah. I, I, I had to be this yeah. thing. Cause yeah. I really I had just took her braids down. It was like that type of crazy. Like So So <laughs> We, we, we just like them. Like when you walking in the gallery and you told them like, oh, she was told. Girl, we was looking just like me and you. <laughs> Both was told up, so we even. You see what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah, so. I feel like they gonna catch me, but I just feel like now, like I've been a little bit more aware about like when I yeah, go out yeah, the house. Just a little bit more aware about it. Because <laughs> I am getting people. Now I, there is somewhere I go and, and at least one to two people recognize they, they me. They know so. me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you that crazy lady from Instagram. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it was nice you like, I hope you have all this success, and I already know you're gonna do your thing because you already working with me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mom, and I hope you work with more people. Thank you. Mm -hmm.